Hello my soccer universe. I thought it is time to show you another jersey and I decided, well, since I have this French background up there, let's show you another jersey from my French collection. And usually I would go kind of chronologically of how the, I have gotten them and so on, or, you know, look in my list, what would be the next one in line. But aside this time, I decided let's go with the recent events and show you this pretty awesome knot jersey from um you know it is officially from the 2021 season however it was never worn it's a commemorative jersey of the eighth title so i don't actually know how to uh properly name this one so um i will call it <laughs> they i think it's it's called it's, it's it's the jersey of the eighth star 20 uh, uh remembering 20 years of that one um Honestly, and I tell you the story a little bit um, in a bit uh, about it. I always have liked non jersey. I always was on the lookout for a non jersey, but it needed to be this. I really wanted to have one with this crest, and it could have been one more recent one. But when I saw this released, I even went to the non store, but they of course sold it only. The box would have been quite expensive. And then I saw they were selling out the Macron page for a rather reasonable price, add to it 20%. It was the only time I've ordered from Macron directly but um, I think I got a discount and then uh, the whole thing actually worked out for a fairly reasonable price for me so uh, that I could get this absolute beautiful jersey a near perfect remake of the one uh, that Lecoq Sportif issued for the 2000-2001 season uh, the design it is, has the black line here, it has the uh, the green shoulders on the back, uh, it is blank, it is rather uh, just 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 yellow, but I think for, for me also that the, on the sides you have kind of the green side strap again outlined in black. Uh, it is such a striking, striking um, jersey that I, I was in love with it. This was more or less my second favorite Nantes design and then they brought back the old style crest because the new one is kind of a Juventus style and although it doesn't look that bad to be honest but I really like the the one with the ship now uh, let me put this aside and really tell you a little bit I mean Anand was always a team that intrigued me uh, ever since I saw them in the Champions League semi-final against Juventus in 96 with these really striking yellow and green Adidas jerseys, uh, striped jer uh, jerseys that I just couldn't get out of my mind. And then I saw, of course, yeah, they're also a, a pretty successful and pretty big team in France. A uh, little book that I actually should uh, do a video on helped also that establish them as one of the big teams in France for me and to boot with one of the most beautiful stadiums in there. And yeah, the Stade de la Bourgeoisie is definitely one of the most pleasing uh, stadiums if you look at it, although not actually tried uh, to build a new one like uh, almost everyone does. But it would be a shame because it's a really beautiful stadium, but I understand modern times, blah, 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 blah. Uh, at a few years later, four years, in 2000, I was with my aunt traveling in northern France. Among other cities, I, of course, went to Caen. Um, car not car car uh and you know uh we traveled um uh, through normandy and Brittany, britannia and among the last stops then you know we, oh, we went first north coast and then went south coast we went to nantes and i did not have planned this was a time where you couldn't pull up your phone and look where's the stadium i had only a rather rough map of nantes where there was no stadium in there it was basically yeah um we had a, a map of the inner city you follow that one then you hope that you okay i recognize the street name and then here you are uh but of course at that time i was not interested in jerseys i was more interested in scarves yeah the financial means have <laughs> they have definitely changed back then i was just a student but uh, the funny thing is that I actually, when we were in downtown Nantes, I, for some reason, I saw a map. And from that map, I could make out where the stadium is in Nantes. And it was rather straightforward to uh, go, I think it was north. You go up north and then suddenly you hit the stadium. And 
Um, lo and behold, I kind of told told, told Sosman, I really want to try to uh, see if we can find the stadium because, you know, it's such an iconic stadium. I want to see it and uh, maybe uh, pick up a souvenir uh, there. Or, you know, I didn't see a not fan shop or whatever. And it was always, you know, we had seen Stadren. Uh, uh, we passed by the then newly opened Park Roison. Uh, and I went in the fan shop there. Um, and, you know, I have been picking up my... Uh, I think I picked up a Strasbourg scarf when we were in Strasbourg and so on. So, you know, we have been uh, looking at that. And so I'm driving north to the stadium. And lo and behold, I mean, I almost had care give up and suddenly, boom, there it is. Okay, parked the car somewhere. I walk over there. Um, my aunt took a few pictures from, for, from the outside when I see, yeah, okay, there's the gate open. And I walk straight in into the stadium. And I was on the pitch right there. A little bit later, I found the fan store and I got the scarf that you see up here, which of course has this one. And they had the original jersey there as well. But as I said, this was not the time for me to buy jerseys. Although, honestly, I do regret it because they were about to become champions in that one. How much, uh, how great of a jersey would that be currently? So yeah, when Macron released this one, it was a no-brainer. I know it was more expensive than what I usually spent. But to me, it was an absolute 100% no-brainer. I need to get this jersey. I could get it for a reason, but I think I paid 65 because I could. Well, it was not 20%, it was 20 euros or something. I signed up for the Macron loose leather like because I got it for a reasonable price um, with free shipping and, and so on. It came quickly and, you know, there's nothing bad I can say about Macron and about the jerseys they released. The only thing I can say is that their store rarely ever stuff goes on sale and when it goes on sale, they never have the sizes that I, I want to have. But I got it and I love it. And if you look at, at my Dutch French jerseys in the background, this is the one that adds the sparkly. And yeah, Nantes does add some sparkly, so I absolutely love it. Uh, this was back when it was called FC Nantes Atlantique. So yeah, uh, I would like to know, I mean, I, unfortunately, this was released, I think, a few days before the end of the season when Nantes was still struggling to stay in the league. This was uh, the, the last past season was a horrible campaign for them, where they almost got relegated. Uh, just in the playoffs, they just hung on by a bare thread. And then they commemorate, yeah, 20, 20, 20, 20 years ago, we won the title the last time. And now this one, uh, is, is one of those teams that never had a really strong face, but uh, kind of every decade popped up with, with a title. So yeah, uh, it was released during that in the last few weeks. And it was unfortunately, to my knowledge, never worn, which is the only blight on it, but it's still such a wonderful jersey. I love it. What do you think about this one? Give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed this. Uh, video please leave a note what you think about this jersey and yeah i will uh i will surely talk to you soon and all the best i really hope you enjoyed this video and if you did here are some videos and playlists that you might enjoy too also please consider subscribing to my channel as it will keep you updated on all the things that are rotating in my soccer universe and with that i'm going to wish you a wonderful day Bye.